What's up, beloveds? So, I had a question, right? I'm I'm curious to know if any of you know how your birth was, right? Um, before I found out that I was a prophet, right, an earth angel, uh, before I had awakened, right, at the beginning of my awakening, right, as a matter of fact, somebody I was dating at the time, um, their stepdad, right, when I first met them, they looked at me and it's like they were looking into my soul, like, it was crazy, right? And then he said that I'm a call bearer, right? A call bearer, C-A-U-L-B-E-A-R-E-R, -E -E call bearer, right? And I didn't know what that was. And I'm, I'm like, you know, what? <laughs> don't call me that, first of all. <laughs> no, <laughs> what is that? And it is when a baby is born with a veil over their face, right? And this is rare, okay? Um, you no, know, not so rare that, you know, it's once in a million, right? But rare enough, right? And it said, right? Let me let me read the let me read the depiction on Google, right? So what is a call bearer? Born with a veil over face. From time to time a baby will be delivered in an unbroken amniotic sac, bag of waters. Okay, in in, in parentheses. Covering their face, they are said to be born with a veil over their face, okay, and are known as call bearers, okay? Now, are call, ba call babies special? Some people believe that being born in call has spiritual significance and that a baby will be protected since they came into the world covered up by the amniotic sac that kept them safe during pregnancy, do we not have spiritual protection around the clock? This came to mind. I was just, uh, I was coming to clean the tub and it just came to mind, right? And the memory came back and I'm like, oh, that, yeah, that's right. That did happen, right? And the Holy Spirit led me to look it up, right? Now, hold up. Hold on just a second. Okay, this gives you the number and how many it happens, okay? But remember I said it's not as rare as one in the million, right? But 25% of the way there. Anyway, what does it mean to be born with a call? And you get it because it says C-A-U-L, but call, C-A-L-L. -L. You're born with a call. You're calling. And in call birth is when the baby comes out still inside an intact an amniotic sac. Okay. Call in parentheses. This might make it look like your newborn is completely gift wrapped in a soft jello like bubble. And in call birth is also called a veiled birth. This rare thing of beauty happens in less than one in 80,000 births. So you are one in 80,000 births, beloved. Isn't that crazy? <sighs> That's nuts. So, okay, so how many babies are born with a veil over their face? It says rarely, okay? Fewer than one in 80,000 births, a child would be born with a veil over its face. These children were considered to be destined for greatness. Tell me that ain't Holy Spirit led. Let me read it over. Rarely, fewer than one. Wait, let me read the whole thing. How many babies are born with a veil over their face? Rarely, it says, fewer than one in 80,000 births. A child will be born with a veil over its face. These children were considered to be destined for greatness and include Napoleon, Charlemagne, James I, 
and is that a five or a six? Fifth or the sixth, I don't know. Byron and Sigmund Freed. Okay, I know not that those are the best examples, but their greatness is what is being pointed out, right? Um, that's nuts. Beloved, these children were considered to be destined for greatness. Wow, that tells you how big our destinies are. Napoleon, Charlemagne, James the First. These are people that were that went down in history. That's nuts. But I thought I'd just point that out to y'all, you know? Uh that that was pretty cool. So I love y'all 555 on the timer and uh I'll holla at y'all later. Alright, peace.